Is your car making more noise than your neighbor's lawnmower? Well, buckle up because we're about to fix that rattle in no time. In this video, we give you the top reasons your car is rattling during idle. We also show you ways to fix the issue. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Failing Motor Mounts The purpose of motor mounts is to secure the engine in place. However, these mounts are susceptible to braking over time due to the engine's torque. You can hear louder vibrations coming from under the hood when that happens. As you begin to accelerate, it makes noises similar to impacts. The mounts on the transmission function similarly. Check the ones on the transmission as well, if the rattle and vibration aren't coming from the motor. Faulty Belt Tensioner or Idler Pulley The tensioner and idler pulley keep the serpentine belt moving smoothly. The alternator, water pump, radiator fan, and other accessories all require the use of this belt. The tensioner pulley, which is spring-loaded to keep the belt taut and straight, is necessary. The idler pulley also guides the belt so that tension can be preserved. The serpentine belt won't be able to move smoothly if either of these components is worn, which will result in an odd rattle. If the problem isn't fixed right away, the belt could lose its bearings and cause a lot more issues. Damaged or loose exhaust heat shield Around parts like the muffler, catalytic converter, exhaust pipes, and exhaust manifold or exhaust heat shields. In order for it to dissipate and absorb heat from the engine, it is riveted or bolted to the exhaust. Additionally, heat shields that are fastened to the vehicle's chassis have the potential to come loose and contact the exhaust system, making a rattling sound. Over time, the heat shield deteriorates or the rivets and welds come undone, causing the rattle. While driving, you might not hear it as much, but when it is idle, it can be heard clearly. Damaged Catalytic Converter Exhaust gases are processed by the catalytic converter to make them less hazardous for the environment. Over time, it may clog up and trap exhaust gases, which would make the engine work harder. Vibrations during idle may be caused by an abnormal exhaust gas flow. Additionally, if the honeycomb inside the catalytic converter is cracked or damaged, you may hear some rattling. It can rattle if pieces break off and fall into the exhaust because it is made of ceramic. Loose Exhaust Parts Numerous components that make up the exhaust system have the potential to come loose and rattle. Since the majority of the components are bolted together, a connection failing is not unusual. Flex pipes, mufflers, or resonator pipes may be the source of the rattling. Another possibility is that the pieces were being held in place by a bracket or clamp that became loose. Low Oil Pressure During idle, you can hear rattling in the engine when oil pressure falls too low. The friction between the crankshaft bearings is what causes the rattle. Running the engine with insufficient oil can result in permanent engine damage. Low oil pressure, though, isn't just a result of a lack of oil. It might also be caused by a filthy filter, a worn-out oil pump, or internal component damage. Other damaged engine parts, particularly if it's an internal noise, an engine rattle might be a sign of something more serious. A vibration may be produced by a worn spark plug or collapsed lifters. Furthermore, vibrations and rattles can also be caused by rod knock and piston slap. In either case, you should have the issue resolved right away to avoid further engine damage. How to fix Some auto repair tasks are easy to complete and don't call for a lot of tools. If you feel confident enough to perform the system's diagnosis yourself, we suggest beginning with a factory service manual. You can then carry out these actions. Check engine oil and pressure. There should be a warning light on the dashboard if the oil pressure is low. This is one of those indications that you need to stop driving right away and investigate the issue. In order to make sure that the system is fully topped off, you should also check the engine oil. If it's too low, add more liquid. But you should also look for leaks. If there isn't a visible leak but the oil level keeps dropping, it might be internal. A blown head gasket could be the source of the oil leakage. By checking for oil in the coolant and vice versa, you can determine this. Additionally, it might be time to replace the oil if it appears to be contaminated and old. Just be sure to use the appropriate type of engine oil for your vehicle. Listen for rattling noises. Look under the hood while the engine is running to try and locate the source of the noise. Just be cautious not to approach moving parts that could harm you too closely. If the noise is coming from under the hood, check to see if there is a simple fix. Maybe all you need to do is secure something that has become loose or tighten a bolt. Listen under the vehicle. You should move on to the area below the car if the rattling isn't coming from there. Lay on the ground next to the car and look underneath it while it is still moving. You can jack it up if that still doesn't give you enough space to see everything. However, unless the car is securely parked on jack stands, you shouldn't go under it. Check exhaust. The catalytic converter and exhaust can be checked with a rubber hammer, but you should never use too much force. Here are some simple actions. For easier access to the converter, raise the front of your car. On jack stands, support the car. 
The correct jack locations are listed in your owner's manual. Apply the parking brake and shock the rear wheels. The converter can be tapped with a rubber mallet. When the internal substrate collapses and rattles, it needs to be replaced. Check serpentine belt and tensioners. Your serpentine belt, the tensioners, and the pulleys can all be checked in a variety of ways. Here are some pointers to assist you. Pay attention to the belt's movement. It has the potential to squeal when worn. Look out for belt glazing symptoms. Look for fraying or cracking on the belt. Make sure there is no belt play by checking the tension. To determine whether the belt needs to be replaced, you can also use a wear gauge. Make a note of how the serpentine belt wraps around the accessories before removing it. Under the hood, there ought to be a diagram as well. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.